Hi and welcome to the Psyche Podcast where we discuss all things mindset, mental well-being and living your best life. I'm your host Hannah and I'm a mindset and mental well-being coach and founder of Psyche Coaching. Welcome and we hope you enjoy the show. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Psyche Podcast and I just want to start this week um, by touching on the sad news um, about Caroline Flack at the weekend. And I think when um, when really, really sad events like this happen, uh, such as the loss of a recognizable figure, lots of people kind of jump on to promote their message and, and that kind of thing. Um, and so I'm very wary of using it as a, as, I don't know, um, in any way. Um, but I think it'd be remiss given the the content and the type of podcast we are and the focus of our podcast not to touch on it, um, especially in light of the conversations that we've been having throughout the course of the podcast about mental wellness and and also obviously off the back of Time to Talk Day and what we talked about there about having these conversations and in particular I wanted to highlight again the time to change ask twice campaign because I know you know we all will say it that we're that we're here and for people to reach out to us if they're struggling and absolutely if you're listening to this and you are struggling if you can reach out to someone please do but it can be really hard when you are in that place to actually ask for help. So if you have got a friend or a family member or someone that you know who is a bit off the radar or seems like there is something going on, please reach out to them, ask them how they are. And if your intuition is telling you that they're not okay, even if they're saying they are, then ask twice. And hopefully that might let them know that you're there and they might reach out to you. Um, and I think that's that's all we can do for people is let them know that we're there, that we're really there. <laughs> we're not just saying it and support each other. Um, I also want to share if you're listening to this and you're struggling and you don't feel that you can talk to the people around you, then you can call the Samaritans who are open 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Their number is 116123. It's free to call. And they're there if you are feeling suicidal, if you are feeling any type of mental distress, even if you're not feeling suicidal and you just want someone to talk to, they are there. So that number again is 116123. So I just wanted to share that. And also the second thing that just really occurred to me hearing the news over the weekend and kind of feeding into the theme of this week's episode is about this need to be kind to each other. And kindness is something that it, it's a value that I try to embody, I guess, in my in my um, daily life. I try to think about how I treat other people and about being kind in my interactions and not hurting people and Sometimes I probably go the other way into people pleasing too much, but but I try to just be considerate and be compassionate and and be kind in my in my interactions. And I think from a lot of the the coverage that I've read, and going back a lot of the coverage that there have been about Caroline, it just really stands out that there I guess there wasn't kindness there. There are lots of criticism and you know, we could talk about social media and the media generally um, in a lot of detail. But I think just the message I've been seeing since the weekend that's kind of flooding social media is about being kind. So just a reminder about that and actually a quite fitting topic because it is Random Act of Kindness Week. Monday was Random Act of Kindness Day. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit in this week's episode. So firstly, I want to just start with a definition because why not? 
Um, so kindness. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. And it's something that we can be in our interactions with people. And importantly, I think, our interactions with ourselves. Because sometimes it's easier for us to be kind to other people than it is to ourselves. And that's a really important message that has been coming through in a lot of the discussions that we've been having on the podcast. And so the theme of, of this week is about random acts of kindness. And this might be something that you've heard of before, but the idea is that you just carry out a kind act randomly, uh, not expecting anything in return, not expecting anything back, just to spread a little bit of kindness. And being kind, obviously, it helps other people to feel better. It maybe gives them a boost to their day. Actually, it gives you a health and happiness boost as well. Um, and the reason it does that, bit of science, um, as you may know, I'm a bit of a science geek. So it's stimulating the reward center in the brain. And we get something called the helper's high. Um, and basically it releases oxytocin, which is that cuddle chemical. It's the one that new mothers will have bonding with their baby. It's also called the what the cuddle chemical uh, is released during sex as well. If you're hugging your pets, um, is that kind of feel good love chemical. Serotonin, which is very much related to mood and I guess happiness, but it's you know, real oversimplification, but to do with, yeah, feeling good. And dopamine is that kind of pleasure chemical. Um, so when we have a reward and, and pleasure, dopamine is released. And all three of these give us a, a mood boost and they counteract cortisol, which is the stress hormone. So it's kind of why a cuddle can make us feel a bit more chilled, cuddling your pets. Um, when you, I don't know, eat chocolate, that's a reward. That's a bad example, but it releases a, a chemical in the brain from the reward center. And actually being kind to other people and doing a good deed releases the same chemicals in the brain. So they help us feel good, can help minimize stress if you are feeling depressed. It can help to improve that. Um, it's something if I'm if I'm feeling low, if I can motivate myself to help other people, it does it does give me a boost, uh, and it also has some other benefits. So reducing pain, reducing the risk of cognitive impairment, um, lowering blood pressure, all of those. And uh, there's a, a phrase from the Dalai Lama that I really like: this idea of selfish altruism. So you're doing a good deed, but there's a selfish element to it as well because you're getting a boost as well. And then another quote I, uh, I want to share from the Dalai Lama is, be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. It is always possible. This is me now. Always possible to be kind and to think kindly in your interactions and, yeah, take it into your day. And through this kindness, random acts of kindness, it also builds that sense of community and belonging. And that's something that we've talked about is up there with exercise and good nutrition and sleep as being really beneficial for your mental well-being. So thinking about random acts of kindness, even just I think the thinking about it of what you can do that is going to give someone else a boost. It's it's thinking about other people, it's being considerate, being generous, being friendly and that builds that sense of community. If you want some examples of what you can do, mentalhealth.org.uk have got a random act of kindness generator that you can find and it will give you a number and it has a whole list of things that you can do if you are struggling to think of something. Um, and there's also, if you just search random acts of kindness, you can find lots and lots of suggestions. Some of the ones they have are donate to charity, say good morning to someone, and <laughs> I don't know how people will react, hopefully with a smile, um, but depending on where in the country you are or which country you're in, there might be different social norms around that. You might bake a cake for your colleagues. You might praise a colleague for something that they've done well, offer to cook for a friend or family member, or send an inspirational quote to someone or a cute animal picture if you think 
you know, they might be having a bad day or they just like cute animals. So there, there's a mixture of things that seem quite simple, really, of just send something or just smile at a stranger or things that are more effortful of baking a cake, donating to charity, but they all count. Um, so do what you can and try and do it this week as it's Random Act of Kindness Week. But also, why not try just generally, can you put a random act of kindness into your day? Can you try and do one each week or when you remember, oh, maybe maybe I'll try and do something kind for someone today. And as I was looking at the uh, random, random acts of, the random, random acts of kindness generator, that's a tongue twister. Uh, the thing that came to my mind is the film Pay It Forward. I don't know if you've seen it. It's a very touching film, but quite sad as well. But there's this wonderful message in it. And this it's kind of feel good at the same time as being really sad. And I would recommend watching it if you haven't. But the the, the schoolboy in it, they have to come up with something that is going to change the world, I believe. I'm saying this from memory, so it could be off. But his idea is that if someone does you a favour, rather than paying them back with a favour, you pay it forward. So you do a favour for three other people paying it forward, and then they do a favour for three other people, and it and it spreads. And so I kind of thought about that and, and whether we could do that with kindness. So if someone is kind to you, can you pay it forward by being kind to you three other people or more? You don't have to limit yourself to three, but can you pay it forward and be kind to three other people? And then hopefully they will pay it forward as well. Or even I think sometimes if we're in a, a positive mood, we're maybe more likely to be kind. So if you smile at someone, they're maybe more likely to smile at someone else just automatically without thinking about it or if you compliment someone maybe they're more likely to do it as well because they're in that more positive headspace so that's my idea of paying forward the kindness I guess um but I'm going to be on the lookout for ways that I can be kind to people this week and and as I've said it's something that I try to do anyway but um I'm going to try and add in some more just random acts of kindness and I'd encourage you to if you can to do the same but also just to be kind just to consider other people because you don't know the impact that your words and actions are going to have on other people you don't know what is going on with them so I just think try and spread a little kindness spread a little love and that's it for this week it's quite quite short and sweet um but we will be back next week with an interview. And actually, it's kind of following on from last week when I spoke to Jess. And we touched quite a lot unintentionally on motherhood and the realities of that and how sometimes it's not all sunshine and roses, that sometimes it can it can be difficult. And next week's episode we're, we're kind of carrying on with that with my guest Cassie and we're actually talking about postpartum depression and anxiety in more depth so that's a really exciting um, and really interesting episode and then the following week we're going to be paying some attention to to the men um, and I have an episode on men's mental health and vulnerability and um, and all of that with Henry. So yeah, we've got some quite exciting episodes coming up and lots, lots more in the pipeline is it's busier than it's ever been with the recording interviews. Um, so yeah, lots of really interesting guests upcoming and longer episodes. But this week, it's just a short message of be kind, try and do your random acts of kindness if you can. And also that ask twice. So reach out to uh, the people in your life just to check how they are. And if you are struggling, please reach out to a friend. Or if you can't, if you can't, 
then maybe consider giving the Samaritans a call or you can email them as well, I believe, or write them a letter. Um, Just talk to someone and, and let it out. And the thing with the Samaritans as well is that it's all completely confidential. So if you're worried about anything going back to family, friends, work, etc., it won't. It's completely confidential. So that's it for this week. Um, please tune in next week for a kind of more full length, uh, longer episode uh, with a guest. But yeah, please do continue to share the podcast. And we are actually taking a bit more of uh, a swerve. I guess um, we've been talking about mental well-being and, and different topics within that. And we still will be, but we're also going to be exploring more mental health experiences of individuals um, to cover that as well, to, to have that discussion, because as we've touched on, it's really important to have those conversations and to start normalizing that we all experience these times in our lives at some point we go through difficult stuff and sometimes we may be depressed or we may be anxious or we may be psychotic there are a lot of different mental health experiences that people can have and I think there is still a lot of misconceptions and stigma around there so we're going to be having more conversations uh, with interesting people sharing their experiences to try and, I guess, challenge some of that stigma and, and yeah, just have some really interesting conversations as well. So I hope you are all happy with that and ready to go along for the ride. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it for this week. So be kind, ask twice um, and have a great week. Bye. So that's everything for this episode. We hope you've enjoyed everything that's been talked about today and we would love to carry on this discussion. So please feel free to tweet us your views, your thoughts, any questions you have for future episodes. Um, And we're on all social media platforms. So feel free to follow us wherever you go for your social media fix. And uh, we will be back next week with more interesting topics and discussions If you've enjoyed this podcast, please do share it with your family and friends or anyone that you think would benefit from it. And please rate and review wherever you've downloaded it from so it can reach more people. We hope you have an awesome week and we're looking forward to chatting to you again next week. Bye.